The objectives for this training are to increase your knowledge of the Girl Scout cookie program and prepare you to facilitate the program in your troop. Throughout this cookie season, there will be additional learning opportunities for everyone involved in your troop's cookie program. The Girl Scout cookie program supports learning in a fun environment. Fiona the Red Fox is the 2020 Girl Scout Cookie Program Recognition Mascot. Our Council's cookies are provided by ABC Bakers. ABC is the oldest and most experienced Girl Scout cookie baker, proudly serving Councils for 82 years. Girl Scouts is a major part of the way of work at Weston Foods, ABC's parent company. ABC offers unique items, which they refer to as the ABC Baker's Choice Cookies. These are lemonades, thanks a lots, and s'mores. This past season, they accounted for almost one third of all ABC Girl Scout cookies sold. There has been no change to the price of Girl Scout cookies for customers this year. The traditional lineup remains at $4 per package and includes caramel delights, thanks a lots, peanut butter patties, Girl Scout s'mores, shortbread, lemonades, peanut butter sandwiches, and thin mints. Gluten-free caramel chocolate chip cookies are available for $5 per package. Please note, gluten-free caramel chocolate chip cookies cannot be ordered during the initial order taking period. There is not an option on the order form to order caramel chocolate chip cookies. Gluten-free caramel chocolate chip cookies are available at booths only. Any caramel chocolate chip cookies requested outside of booths cannot be honored as they will not be available. At this time, we would like to remind you of an upcoming change to the ABC cookie lineup. This is the Thanks A Lots last season. A new cookie will replace the Thanks A Lots next season. It's important that you stay up to date on the deadlines in this year's program. All dates can be found in the 2020 Cookie Program Reference Guide, which is available as a hard copy to all troop cookie managers. A digital copy can be found on our website. On January 8th, we will upload registered troops and girls into ABC Smart Cookies. Registration emails will be generated to troop users and girls when the uploads are complete. Each registration email will contain a link for the troop user and girl to complete their registration in ABC Smart Cookies. Girl registration emails are sent to the parent email address on file. The cookie program officially begins on January 10th, 2020. Initial and early order taking ends on January 26th, although online ordering still continues at this time. By January 28th, please have your initial order, early recognition order, delivery station, and troop bank account information entered into Smart Cookies. Between February 13th and February 19th, cookie deliveries to troops and service units are happening. On February 17th, the first planned order is due in ABC Smart Cookies. Our direct or booth sales start on February 21st, followed by National Girl Scout Cookie Weekend, February 28th through March 1st, 2020. By March 2nd, please deposit 40% or more of your initial order into the Council account at First Citizens. The program wraps up on March 15, 2020. Once the program ends, there are some important dates you need to remember. All girl money is due to you, the Troop Cookie Manager, by March 17, 2020. Please have your main recognition order submitted in ABC Smart Cookies by March 20th, because by March 23rd, all proceed levels are locked in ABC Smart Cookies and cannot be adjusted. All money is due into the Council's account at First Citizens and all troop financial paperwork is due to your service unit cookie manager no later than March 27, 2020. ABCSmartCookies.com is your online cookie program management system from inventory to order management, rewards orders, and booth sales. ABCSmartCookies.com also houses valuable resources. All art, seasonal clip art, and images to build materials can be found there. ABCSmartCookies.com also has additional links to training videos on YouTube. YouTube videos are available 24-7 for volunteer access and are great tools for quick refreshers on how to use ABC Smart Cookies and manage your troops cookie program. These tutorials are short, a few minutes long each, and are designed to walk you through important functions of the site. If questions arise regarding ABCSmartCookies.com or the mobile app, reach out to the ABC Help Desk for further assistance. 
ABC is the subject matter expert on all things ABC Smart Cookies and will provide excellent customer service. ABC provides both 24-7 phone or email service for volunteers, parents, and girls. For all other questions regarding the cookie program, first contact your service unit cookie manager to ensure response time is quick. Your service unit cookie manager is the best resource for your troop during the cookie program and will be able to provide you with the answers for most of your questions. Throughout this next section, we will provide an overview of initial orders, delivery stations, booth reservations, planned orders, cookie transfers, the manage orders screen, girl financial transaction management, cookie share, credit card information. We'll also cover direct ship updates and remind you of the gift box feature. What is an initial order? The initial order is the combined total of all of the cookies your girls sold during the initial order taking period from January 10th through January 26th and the cookies you estimate your troop will need for the first weekend of booths. Your initial order is due January 28th. To submit your initial order, log on to abcsmartcookies.com. Once logged on, hover over the Orders tab and click on Troop Initial Order. You will then enter your initial order by girl in packages. After the last girl's order has been placed on the order grid, there's a booth option where you can order additional packages to be included in your initial order for upcoming booth sales. The initial orders will be rounded up to full case quantity. The extra packages represented at the bottom of the order grid are the packages in every variety that have been automatically added to round up to the nearest case. There are 12 packages of cookies in a case. The total of the troop's initial order is shown in dollar amount and in total package quantity. There's also a box to place any order notes. Once you're finished, click the Save box to save the order. You have the option to edit any part of the order up until the troop order due date, which is listed in red at the top of the initial order screen. Once you're prompted to select a delivery station, please navigate to the No Delivery Station option. Your service unit cookie manager will work to assign a delivery station for your cookie delivery. If your troop's initial order is less than 200 cases, it will be combined with another troop or delivered to a joint location. If your troop's initial order is greater than 200 cases, not including virtual cookie share packages, it will be delivered to a location of your choice, and troops must provide complete delivery station information to the service unit cookie manager by the initial order deadline. You must have the following things submitted in abcsmartcookies.com or submitted to your service unit cookie manager by January 28th. Please keep in mind all deadlines are set by your service unit cookie manager. Please follow your service unit cookie manager's deadlines. Once you've made your initial order, there are two ways to receive it. You may receive it delivered directly to an address you specify, or you may receive it at a shared location with other troops. How you receive your order depends on how many cases you ordered. You will receive information from your service unit cookie manager or the transporter regarding when your cookies will be available for delivery. Troops with initial orders above 200 cases will be delivered to a location of their choice. Delivery station information is required from troops by the initial order deadline. When you receive your cookie delivery, count twice and sign once. Once you sign, they are your troops' responsibility. Do not accept damaged cookies. Send them back with the transporter. Booth, or direct sales, are an integral way for girls to learn necessary people skills. There are three types of booths, lottery, first come first serve, and troop secured. Let's dive deeper into each type. There are four opportunities for your troop to participate in the booth lottery. Four rounds of council booths are uploaded into ABC Smart Cookies by the council. Troops request lottery booths through abcsmartcookies.com. ABCSmartCookies.com generates random wins and losses. Your troop will receive an email notification of your wins and losses. First come, first serve booths are what's available once the lottery is over. These rounds of booths are also uploaded into Smart Cookies by the Council. The troops reserve established numbers of booth slots through ABCSmartCookies.com. Finally, troop secured booths 
are where your service unit cookie manager will contact local businesses to set up booths for all troops in the service unit. Service unit cookie managers submit booth request forms to councils to be approved. Now that you know what a lottery booth is, let's go over how you can request one. To request a lottery booth, log in to your abcsmartcookies.com account. Hover over the Booth tab and click on Schedule Booths. At the top of the page, there are pre-populated timeframes for when the lottery booths can be requested. The number of premium and non-premium locations can be selected in the current lottery selection process, and that's indicated at the top of the page. Both lottery and first-come, first-served booths will be displayed on the map. Purple locations are the ones available for the lottery. Click on the desired purple location from the list on the left. You can either scroll up or down through the list of booths, use the search field option, or select the choice of filters above the nap to narrow down to a specific location. Once the location has been selected, it will appear at the top of the screen. You will need to click on the desired month and date. The available dates will be highlighted and when the date is available, the appointment time slots to choose will appear to the right of the calendar. Click on an alternate date if needed and select the desired time frame. Then click Save. Repeat the same steps for all desired locations. If a time slot has already been selected, the following message will appear. Time slot already requested by the troop. Once the limit for booth selection has been reached, the following message will appear at the bottom of the screen. The maximum number of lottery selections have been saved. Please review your selections in Troop Reservations. Then go to My Reservations to view all selected requests by reservation type. Please note these are requests only and do not indicate a lottery win. You will receive an email with indication of lottery wins and losses. The My Reservations screen shows all lottery requests. If a location has been chosen in error, click on the three dots to the far right of the booth entry on the grid and click on Remove Reservation. A confirmation message will appear to either go back or delete forever because the booth request cannot be retrieved once deleted. If accidentally deleted, you need to go back through the selection process from the beginning to rebook that booth request. Email notifications will be sent to the troop's contact email address confirming the booth assignment after the lottery has been completed. Booth information will be populated on the GSUSA Cookie Booth Finder app available to consumers to locate booths in their neighborhoods. Reserving a first-come, first-served booth starts out the same way as reserving a lottery booth. To reserve a first-come, first-served booth, log on to abcsmartcookies.com, hover over the Booth tab, and click on Schedule Booths. At the top of the page, there are pre-populated timeframes for when first-come, first-served booths can be scheduled. The number of premium and non-premium locations that can be selected in the current First Come First Curve system is also indicated at the top of the page. The map displays where the premium and non-premium booths are located geographically. Click on the desired location from the list on the left. You can scroll up and down through the list of booths. You can use the search filters above the listing of booth locations to search for a specific location or narrow down your search. Then you'll click on the desired month and date. Available dates will be highlighted. Click on an alternate date if needed, and when the date is available, the appointment time slots will appear at the bottom of the screen. Select your desired time frame, and then click Save. Once saved, the following message will appear at the bottom of the screen that says you've successfully requested this first come, first serve booth. Repeat the same steps for all desired locations. Once the limit for non-premium booth selection has been reached, the following message will appear at the bottom of the screen. The maximum number of first-come, first-served requests has been reached for this troop. Once the limit for premium booths has been reached, the following message will appear at the bottom of the screen. The maximum number of premium first-come, first-served booths has been requested by this troop. Go to your My Reservations tab to view all selected requests by reservation type. Troops are required to receive approval for all troop-secured booths by their service unit cookie manager. Troop secured booths must be created in ABC Smart Cookies and the council will approve or deny. Email notification of the approval or denial is provided and should be kept as a record of the booth reservation. You can view your reservations in ABC Smart Cookies through the booth system and reporting. Troop secured booths are only for the service unit who requests them. Other troops and other service units cannot see or reserve these booths in ABC Smart Cookies. 
Please remember to delete booth request reservations if your troop cannot keep to help keep the National Cookie Finder app accurate for consumers. If your troop is interested in securing a troop secured booths, log on to abcsmartcookies.com and hover over the booth tab. Then select troop secured booths. To request a troop secured booth, fill in the booth information section first and then click save. Then, you can click Request Appointment Time to begin building your dates and times of your Troop Secured Booth location. By clicking on Request Appointment Time, you can request multiple dates and time slots after each appointment is saved. Once complete, go to Troop Reservations to view and confirm the request. Your Troop Secured Booth request will be listed with all First Come First Serve Booth requests. Once the request is approved, the status will go from Pending to Approved. You will receive email notification to your registered email address if the booth is approved or denied. Your troop can delete the booth reservations in ABC Smart Cookies if necessary. If your troop cannot attend a requested booth time slot, please remember to cancel your troop from the assignment. This removes the booth from the GSUSA Cookie Booth Finder application available to the public. To delete the booth, Click the menu at the end of the row and then click Remove Reservation. Midlands and Upstate Chapters of the Blue Star Mothers of America, Soldiers Angels, the USO, and your Council are working together to collect donations as part of our Cookies for Soldiers program. While your Council handles getting the cookies where they need to go, tracking is handled within your troop's inventory. Cookie Share is also available online for customers who wish to support the girl in Council but do not wish to receive packages of cookies. Cookie share donation is virtual. Donation cookies are not ordered by variety. There is no true physical inventory of cookies for virtual cookie share. In order to take virtual cookie share orders, use the white column on the order card form to capture. These orders are not placed by variety. Cookie share orders are entered into ABC Smart Cookies with your troop's initial order. Your troop can collect donations from January 10th through March 15th. Troops and girls receive credit via entry into ABC Smart Cookies by girl. If your troop has virtual cookie share orders to enter after the initial order period, you can do so under Orders, Virtual Cookie Share. You will then enter the package quantity by girl and then click Save at the bottom. Advertising and marketing your girls' cookie program is vital to ensuring your girls reach their goals. Let's review important information about social media advertising. On your personal social media pages, you can post the link to your girl's upcoming booth sales. Once you post, you can control the audience. Individuals and eligible girls may post on their personal social media pages only. Do not post any links to public pages, local yard sale pages, or for sale pages, community pages, or any business pages, even if the business is yours. This is prohibited and you will be asked to remove the post. When your girls sell cookies at a booth, Use the Smart Booth Divider to divide up the cookies sold and allocate them to girls. With cookies allocated, using the Smart Booth Divider are eligible to receive the booth patch. To access the Smart Booth Divider, log into abcsmartcookies.com, hover over Booth, and select My Reservations. Then, you will select the booth of which you would like to report sales. Click the three dots at the end of the row to select the Smart Booth Divider. Before entering your packages, verify that the booth location chosen is correct. Click the back arrow to change to another booth if necessary. Enter the amount of packages sold by Variety during that booth sale. Click the Save and Distribute Sales button. The Select Troop Girls grid will appear as shown on the right. Select which girls attended that booth sale by clicking on the checkbox to the right of their names. Once all selected girls are checked, click Continue. ABC Smart Cookies will prompt the troop user to select girls who attended the booth sale, then click Continue. Remaining packages to distribute will be highlighted in red. Click Save at the bottom to continue. Once saved, a confirmation message will appear on the bottom of the page. All packages will show as being distributed completely at the top and bottom of the page. At this point, the following items have been automatically created in the system. The inventory has now been transferred from troop to girl. A separate transaction was done for cookie share, if applicable. The girls have received credit for those booth packages sold, which will count towards their rewards, and a reminder that the girl is not given the financial responsibility for those booth transfer credits. Repeat these steps each time a booth sale is completed to accurately display girl totals on each of the girls' smart cookie dashboard. To view this activity, 
Go to the Manage Orders page and under Transfers, check the Troop to Girl Transfers option to see the transfers created for each of the girls that participated in that booth sale. When you give girls cookies to sell, you will need to create a transfer in ABC Smart Cookies. Here's how to do that. First, log in to your ABC Smart Cookies account, hover over Orders, and click on the Transfer Order tab to get started. Then you will select Troop to Girl from the drop-down menu. The menu also shows these options. Girl to Girl, Girl to Troop, and Troop to Troop. As a Troop user, the service unit and Troop number will already be pre-populated in the selection screen. Click on which girl in the Troop will receive the transfer or you can search by the girl's name in the Girl Search field. Click the Reset arrow on the far right to reset your filters if necessary. Once the filters are set, click Apply. Then you will enter the transfer in Package Quantity. Now there are two types of transfers that can be entered on this page, packages and booth packages. We strongly recommend that you use the Smart Booth Divider to enter all booth sales data and credit girls accordingly. The Smart Booth Divider is an easy way to distribute booth sale credit to multiple girls quickly and evenly. In the package column, enter the number of packages being transferred to the girl by variety to fulfill her girl delivery orders or for door-to-door -door sales. The girl will assume financial responsibility for these packages and the total transferred will be included in her total sales number. If you elect not to use the Smart Booth Divider to distribute booth sale credit to girls, the Booth Packages column can be used to give credit to girls for packages sold at booth sales. The girl will receive package credit towards her recognitions, but she does not assume financial responsibility for booth sales since the money is typically collected by the troop at the time of the sale. In the Booth Packages column, enter in the amount of booth packages to transfer to each girl in package quantities for each variety needed. Once the transfer is saved, click Print Receipt at the bottom of the page to see a printable confirmation page. You will then see the option to Delete Order, Go to Manage Orders to view it, or Make Another Transfer to transfer more cookies. Note that the number of packages of each variety that you have transferred to the girl have been removed from the troop inventory and credited to the girl's inventory. Financial responsibility of the non-booth packages transferred is now credited to the girl. Troop to girl transfers are indicated on the Manage Orders page with the order type of T2G. While your initial order happens only once, planned orders happen several times throughout the program. Planned orders allow you the opportunity to replenish what girls have sold so far so they can continue selling. The planned order process allows troops to place orders ahead of scheduled cupboard pickup days so they can obtain additional cookies for girls' sales and booth events. Placing a planned order allows your council to stock cupboards appropriately with all product needed to fill orders. The planned order schedule can be found in the Troop Cookie Manager Guide. To make a planned order, log into ABC Smart Cookies. Hover over Orders and select Planned Orders. Then select a cupboard location from the left side. Once your preferred cupboard is chosen, the Edit option is available if there are other locations to choose from and you want to pick a different cupboard to pick up from. To change locations, click Edit and select again. When you select the cupboard, you'll see a list of dates indicated the days the cupboard is available for pickups. Select a date and click Continue. You will see the time slots available on the date that you selected. Select a time that suits your schedule and click Save. You may edit your cupboard, date, and time selections by clicking Edit under the appropriate category. The varieties will be shown beneath the cupboard information. Enter the number of units in the designated unit of measure that you need to pick up. There's also a field for order notes available. Finally, click Save. Confirmation of the planned order appears when you click Save and the planned order number will appear at the top of the page. The order can be printed by clicking on Print Receipt. The top of the receipt will say Planned Order Receipt, not approved, indicating that the order has not yet been picked up from the cupboard and approved. The receipt confirms the location, date, and time you selected along with your order details. If you delete the order, you will see a confirmation to delete pop up. You can cancel or continue with deletion. Your council has set the number of planned orders that can be entered per week by a troop. When that limit has been reached, you will see a message that says, Can't create order. Maximum number of allowable planned orders is exceeded for the week. Go to the Manage Order screen to view, edit, or delete the planned order. You can edit your order up until the designated deadline for placing planned orders for the upcoming week. Once you've picked up your planned order from the cupboard, 
The covered manager will approve your order and it will become a covered to troop transfer and it will show an approved planned order status on the receipt. This will be done within 24 to 48 hours. The Manage Orders page displays all transactions related to the troop and provides access to view, edit, and delete orders as needed during the sale. Filters allow you, the user, to quickly find specific orders or types of orders and information can be exported easily. Log on to abcsmartcookies.com to get started. Once on abcsmartcookies.com, hover over the Orders tab and click on Manage Orders. Using various filters and parameters, you can locate specific orders that your troop has created. The transactions filtered and shown can be exported into an Excel spreadsheet. The Financial Transactions page will show all financial transactions associated within a troop. To create a Girl Financial Transaction, log on to abcsmartcookies.com, hover over the Finances tab, and click on Financial Transactions. To enter a girl transaction, click on Add Girl Transaction. The Add Transaction box will appear as shown in the center of the screen. Fill in all information necessary and click Save. The bottom screen shows where the transaction was added. You can click on the Girl Balance Summary Report link to view the financial report of that girl. When you click on either the Troop Balance or Girl Balance Summary Report, the following criteria will appear. Fill in the data where needed and click on View Report. The report will appear where it can be downloaded or printed. The Recognition Program provides an incentive for the girls to reach their set goals. Troops should create their recognition orders once the girls have been credited for all packages sold. Log on to abcsmartcookies.com to get started. The Council has set a PGA goal for 260 packages. PGA stands for Per Girl Average. Girls who participate in the Girl Scout Cookie Program can accrue cookie dough after selling 150 packages of cookies. A cookie dough accrual chart can be found in the reference guide and is made available for all girls who participate in the program. Cookie dough may be used for Council or GSUSA sponsored programs and activities, silver and gold award project expenses, and to help pay for lifetime membership. A girl may designate unused value of her cookie dough prior to its expiration date to help sustain and build Girl Scouting in our Council. Girls may choose to donate unused cookie dough to outreach, financial assistance, camperships, Council-sponsored teen programs, or opt for a sister-to-sister -sister transfer for registered Girl Scout sisters living in the same household. Cookie dough may not be redeemed for cash or used in Girl Scout shops or camp trading posts. Lost, damaged, or stolen cookie dough will not be reissued. Cookie dough for the 2020 cookie program expires on September 30th, 2021. Recognitions start at just one package. Girls can earn everything from a cookie booth patch to incentives tied to Girl 2020, the Girl Scouts National Convention. Recognizing girls for their efforts during the sale is an integral part of the program. Troop proceeds are calculated on a troop per girl average. Troop profit is calculated based off of girls selling, not girls registered. Cadet, senior, and ambassador troops are available to choose a proceeds only option where they received all patches in the rewards plan but do not receive any additional rewards. Instead, they receive an additional five cents per package. Each selling girl in troops that reach a per girl average of 250 plus packages on the initial order will earn the custom Girl Scouts of South Carolina Mountains to Midlands Fox theme t-shirt. T-shirts will be delivered with main rewards in late April 2020. To ensure your girls receive the recognitions they work for, troops must first create their recognition order by hovering over Recognitions and clicking Create Recognition Order. Click on Enter Troop Number and Add Troop Number if needed, and then hit Enter. Select your plan type and click Create Order. Once the order has been created, as shown on the right, we'll have the girls' names first listed from that troop. The following items are listed at the top of the order. The troop number, how many girls registered in the troop, how many girls are selling in the troop, the total amount of packages sold, the average PGA of registered girls, and the average PGA of selling girls. The names of the girls will be listed in either blue or red. Names in blue do not need to be reviewed. 
Names in red need to be reviewed. After the recognition order is created, users access orders under Manage Recognition Orders. Troops should create their recognition orders once the girls have been credited for all packages sold. Under Status, a U means uncommitted, with no need for review. An R means to review the order, and a T means the order has been committed. The pencil icon is for editing the order, and the trash can icon is for deleting the order. The order can be exported into an Excel spreadsheet if necessary. New this year, troops are able to accept credit card payments from customers using the Smart Cookies mobile app. This feature is free for troops. You will not incur any charges for accepting credit card payments through the app. The Council is absorbing credit card fees for all transactions. Let's review the steps a girl will need to follow in order to accept a credit card payment for her girl delivered order. She will need to log into the Smart Cookies mobile app from her mobile device or simply log into abcsmartcookies.com. The screenshots provided are from the application, but all steps are exactly the same when using the browser app. The girl will then navigate to the My Orders tab. Then she will click Show Orders in Total Girl Delivery Order section to view her orders. Along with her customer's input, she can then update the order if any changes are required. Now it's time to enter the customer's credit card information. She can have the customer manually read the card number for a manual keyed entry. If errors are made during the manual entry, an error message will be displayed to the girl. If the girl is using an iPhone, she can scan the credit card. Please ensure customers that the image does not save to the girl's device. Additionally, this feature is not currently available for Android devices. Payments will automatically post to Smart Cookies. Credits to Girls and Troops automatically post in ABC Smart Cookies. Payments may also be entered when taking a new order. The first step is to capture the customer's information. Anything with an asterisk is required. Then enter the customer's orders by variety in Packages. Click Delivered and Yes under the Paid section. By choosing Paid, this opens up the Payment Options screen. Then follow the previous instructions for capturing credit card information. Finally, let's review and refresh on information regarding the Direct Ship option and the gift box. There are some changes to the 2020 Direct Ship Cookie Program. $12 is the updated flat fee shipping rate for 1 to 12 packages sold and shipped. This is a change from 2019, where it was $11.50. Shipping fees to military APO and FBO addresses have been significantly reduced, however, for the 2020 Cookie Program. In 2019, there was an additional surcharge on these orders of $25 per 1 to 12 packages. However, in 2020, this additional surcharge has been reduced to just $10 per 1 to 12 packages. There are no changes to the following. The gift box fee remains at $4. The Council Gift of Caring online transaction fee remains at $1.25 per order, not per package. Additional surcharges for shipments to Alaska and Hawaii will remain $40 for each 1 to 12 packages sold. Encourage your customers to purchase a special treat during the cookie season to gift their friends and family. The gift box counts as five packages of cookies. There is an additional fee for the actual gift box of $4. Custom messaging is included inside the box. Girls are automatically credited in Smart Cookies for packages sold and rewards earned. Girls' dashboards are automatically updated with sales for direct ship cookies. No manual entries needed. We're sure that you are looking forward to an exciting Girl Scout cookie season with your girls. We appreciate all of your continued efforts to ensure that your girls are getting the most out of their Girl Scout cookie program.